Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley led into the opposition at the opening of the Point Fortin Highway on Saturday, one which he said was riddled with corruption and bacchanal under the former People's Partnership government. He said those responsible must be held accountable and the public must be aware of who authorised certain contracts to be amended before the 2015 general elections, giving advantage to the OAS contractor despite bankruptcy. If we had done what was supposed to have been done by the clause in the contract that governed the conduct of this project, OS could never have gone before any court anywhere in the world and seek to fight us for this $950 million. Dr. Rowley said even worse, the former government negotiated for a scaled-down highway to be built by local contractors, not included in the OAS contractor's cost. But they removed $1.5 billion of work, left them with the $5.2 billion, and was now aiming to spend another $1.5 billion through other contractors to do the work that they were contracted with OAS to do. He said government will now take certain steps to ensure there are answers. Cabinet amended the terms of reference of the Sebastian Vento inquiry with a view to adding that the examination and specific concerns raised here today to find answers to these troubling questions. And Works Minister Rohan Sinan chastised the opposition for attempting to take credit for the highway, noting the construction process was initiated in 2010 under the Manning administration. One section they open, they just open the foundation. Up to today, there's no final layer on the highway. We have to go back and fix that. The 29-kilometer highway connects San Fernando to La Brea and Point Fortin with three overpasses, four interchanges, and reduces an hour-long drive to just 20 minutes. Sonolala, TTT News.